Greetings everybody. This morning, with doing a lot of the work in the garden, I paused to take a look at the cucumbers. I've spoke to you about this before, that it's very common on your squash and cucumber plants to see predominantly male flowers. Just like this one. They're male. As the vine grows, the newer flowers start to develop up this way. And here I've noticed that I have a baby cucumber and a female flower, of course. Here is the start of another one. I'm going to have to keep a close eye on this. I want to get this pollinated as soon as I see this flower open. My pollinators are not here uh, in great numbers yet. So I'm going to take this upon myself because I want to make sure they're fertile. Squash and cucumbers are known to abort the fruit very early on. The flowers open up in the morning. On squash plants, they open up in the very early morning and then they close by late morning, early afternoon. So get out in the garden, spot your males, new up on the vine, from your best plant. Take the flower. Now there are different techniques for this. Some people recommend Q-tips. What I do is I take the flower from the very best vines, separate vine. I leave a little handle, the stem down here for the flower. Peel back all of the flower petals. And then take that and rub it on the inside of the female flower. Squash plants pinch closed pretty easily to ensure that you know you are going to be the one that decides where the pollen came from. A bee might come along an hour later and spread pollen from one of your smaller squash plants. This really doesn't matter if you're going to eat the cucumber or squash but if you are saving that particular specimen for seed, you want the very best. So there you have it. Hand pollination, male flower to the center of the female flower to ensure that your fruit is going to stay on the vine and produce viable seed. Thanks for watching. Arrivederci.